Hi you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I have a really big announcement to make and that is that I am pregnant, if you couldn't tell by the title of this video. Um, some of you caught it in my FabFitFun Spring add-ons video. Uh, there were a couple products I was talking about not being able to use because I just found out I am pregnant. I am just over six weeks pregnant. I am learning a lot about what it's like to be pregnant and when we start counting that date and of the, it's all, there's a lot of information that I'm absorbing about being pregnant, but anyway. I am pregnant and I don't think that it's fully sunk in. I'm still going to be making videos. I love this. This is so much fun for me. I have a product review video coming up for you guys, but I wanted to make this video. I wanted to share this with you guys because you might start to notice some changes in me. I'm going to be probably gaining weight. I might look pretty tired from time to time. I don't know what to expect. I found out not this past weekend, but the weekend before. And uh, yeah, we're really, really excited. So I wanted to do, I've seen a lot of videos where women talk about the symptoms that they experienced. So I'm gonna get into that. Uh, those videos have really, really helped me out. Uh, it, it, other times when I thought I might be pregnant and um, I kind of avoided watching them this time around because I just didn't want to drive myself nuts. I was just distra distracting myself really. This was actually the first time we consciously tried and so we are, we're extremely, extremely lucky uh, to have hit the bullseye, I guess you could say. I wanted to talk a little bit about the symptoms I experienced and what went on in my head and how I, you know, drove myself nuts, didn't drive myself nuts potentially during the, what I've learned is referred to as the two week wait. And I did my, I did my best not to symptom spot, like look for symptoms, but about three days after I ovulated and we did what was necessary, I had noticed I had a, suddenly a really, really big zit right here, like a cystic one, and I never, ever, ever get zits like that, thankfully. Um, I just don't, and I thought, well, that's really weird, and I, I kind of thought, well, maybe, <laughs> maybe that's a symptom, but I decided to just kind of put it away in my brain, and then, um, not too long after that, I noticed that things weren't moving in my digestive system as efficiently as I was used to, so I actually, I quit coffee and I started, I just felt like I really needed ginger in my diet for the digestive um, uh, purposes. And so I quit coffee and I started making myself lemon ginger water every morning from scratch instead. And so uh, that really helped things move along. And and so I looked that up and I learned that that can also be another symptom. Some of the hormones can slow your digestion for some reason. I don't really remember it too well, but I do remember it was something along those lines. Uh, a third thing that happened, which was pretty, pretty, pretty um, obvious, was that my breast really started to hurt really, really bad, and that was about uh, five days before I was due for my period, when they started to hurt really bad. I haven't had breast tenderness in PMS in years. It used to happen, but it stopped for some reason, and so because I that happened again out of the blue, I thought, oh, okay, <laughs> well, maybe, really maybe, not just from a pimple and um, slow bowels, maybe I really am pregnant this time. Um, so I didn't, the day that I was supposed to get my period, I had a really, really big day at work. I I wore um, a tampon that day because I just didn't want to worry about it. I put one in and I just went about my day so I didn't have to think about it and I could just be safe in my marathon meetings and then I came home from work that night I removed it and I hadn't gotten my period and that was a Monday and come Friday I still had it and so we decided to get some tests and I took it and sure enough I'm pregnant and <laughs> it's pretty wild so I'm not I'm not out of I'm not out of the woods as far as potential for miscarriage or anything like that um, but 
Yeah, so those were the only symptoms I had. You know, I've watched so many of these videos where women are talking about all these little things like, I felt this little twinge in my left ovary and I thought I was sure I was pregnant. <laughs> it, it, you can really torture yourself doing that, I think. And um, I, I just tried not to symptom spot. And anyway, so now what what I'm experiencing now, my my breasts still really hurt. They're bigger. I just said to my husband, I said, I think my boobs are bigger. And he just said, without hesitation, right away, he just said, yep. <laughs> I said, oh, okay, well, you noticed. Um, so yeah, uh, they're swollen and tender. And um, I, I haven't had any nausea yet, knock on wood. Um, I felt a little bit queasy a couple of nights, very, like, ever so slightly. I think that maybe, I'm still doing the lemon ginger water, and I think if I were to get nauseous, maybe the ginger every morning is helping with that, um, helping keep it away. What I am feeling, though, is I am a space cadet. I am having difficulty working through thoughts right now in this video. I was having difficulty in a meeting Earlier today, I was like, I know what I'm thinking. I know what I'm. I know what I'm trying to talk about, and I couldn't formulate a sentence confidently. Um, anyway, so I am. Um, so that's something you may notice in my videos. I might be a little bit more scatterbrained because I certainly feel that. Uh, I had extreme hunger a couple of days ago. Like I couldn't eat enough, and. I was putting another bite in my mouth before I was done with the previous bite. I was just eating so much and that has kind of leveled off, but it was just one day, like I just wanted to inhale everything in sight. I haven't had food aversions, I haven't had nausea, I I am fully prepared to have those things. I'm only six and a half weeks long. I had a mild headache. And I have, we have a lot of planning to do. You may or may not have noticed from my previous videos that I am apartment living right now. Where I live it is one, it might be the most <laughs> expensive city in the United States. So um, my rent is probably more than a lot of mortgages that you are aware of. And so we have to think about what to do there, uh, where to potentially move at some point where we could afford a home. Um, a lot, a lot of changes coming up ahead, but I will still have review videos for you. Uh, it may branch out into, um, I don't know, it may branch out, who knows, we'll see. But I will still have review videos for you, that's for sure. And, um, I have, uh, some stuff here actually ready. So, uh, be on the lookout for that in a couple days. And I just feel like I've been rambling. I don't, it's, I'm a space cadet. Anyway, thank you for sharing in this news with me. And um, if, to all the mothers, parents out there watching, I want to hear what it was like for you. Let's start a conversation in the comments below about what this, the, this experience is like and how, what was it like for you? Are you going through it right now? I know a couple of my my friends, my subscriber friends are actually pregnant and per right around the same amount of pregnant weeks that I am. I can't formulate sentences. Um, yeah, anyway, so uh, yeah, let's start a conversation in the comments below and I hope that you're having a wonderful day and I will see you later. Mwah. Bye.